he's in limbo at the moment. So it, 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 it is indecent for any club to think, ooh, I'll snaffle him up on the cheap. He'll be a good striker. When we, we simply just have to wait to see what sort of man emerges from the aftermath of his appeal. And then we'll know, is this a person who can operate in a fairly high-profile environment and not uh, incense um, issue groups by not saying the right thing. He has every right, if he has served a sentence, been convicted, to carry on with his job. I do not agree with those people who say you should not have a high-profile position if you've been convicted of rape, as long as the person who's been convicted of rape comes out and says, it was appalling what I did, and if I can help in any way uh, teach young men in sport that the way you treat women has to be better. We, we, you know, the, we often treat women uh, badly as, as a game to play, as, as opposed to you know, human beings. Um, and I think of them in terms of relationships. It's, 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 it's almost like as a, a separate sport about how you treat women. If he can play his part in educating young men and, and grow as an individual while playing his football, I, this might be a pipe dream, then he does have the right to carry on. Although he is in limbo in, term, in his own mind in terms of his appeal, he, he, is, he is a convicted rapist. That is on the record. So the conviction is there and he is appealing against it. So as things stand, he could only be treated as somebody with a rape conviction. If that conviction is subsequently overturned, then that does change his position. But um, I think as the days go on, it gets simpler and simpler. Until that legal process has exhausted itself, as Dom said, it's impossible to make any kind of sensible decision about uh, when and where or if he can resume his career.